I drew on her back as my finger, the letter I, and then a heart, and then it. Oh, that's so cute. Do you want me to reverse that question on you? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Hi. My name's Alex. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Krista. My name's Casey. What's your name? Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Hi, um, my name's Jade. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael. Hi, Michael. Uh, how are you doing? Like, really? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I'm. I'm doing better. It's been, it's been, it's been really rough. Yeah. And I'm just trying hard to hang on and um, live by the, the notion of is it, it is what it is. Yeah. And no matter what happens to me, it's good because I'll learn from it. Yeah. How about you? How are you? <laughs> the same thing. Yeah. It's, it's been hard for everybody. Yeah. Are you getting better? Yeah. Um, I think with like growing up, there's like a lot of things I need to like work through. Just like things like I need to learn from, but like it's hard. It's hard sometimes because the world moves so fast. Yeah, <laughs> and literally. We, and, and we see other people being good and getting it. And we feel like, why don't I get it? Yeah. Or like, why can't I do that? It's we all we we'll all have our moment, you know. We just have to be patient and 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 have faith that you know things will work themselves out as yeah. long as we keep you know doing the next indicated thing and trying to help people and be kind. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at my I guess ex girlfriend right now. We still hang out as we're doing right now, and we still. Uh, still love each other and we still Okay Sorry, so How are you feeling about all that then? It's uh, it's hard Okay, I get that I get that it's uh It's hard to move on Wow, I didn't know I was gonna get <laughs> <laughs> Emotional. Jeez. Um, how are you doing, really? Today is a good day. Not every day is a good day, but today is a good day. Today is actually a really, really good day. Actually, the last couple years have been really, really rough, too. But today's today's been really great. <laughs> so, yeah, and I think it's on the up and up. So, What's causing you hardship? I think the thing that's like hurting me the most is like, my parents are immigrants. They've just been fighting like the immigration process for such a long time. Yeah. And like, I think that's the one thing that's like, kind of always on my mind right now. Do you live with them? Yeah. Do you take care of them? Yeah, and they're like, they kind of had me when I, they were kind of older. Yeah. So I want them to be able to have that like before like, before like they leave. Yeah. They just want to go back to like where they came from, like before they pass away. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I feel like the one thing that like helps me like, like every day is that like when like people like at work that are like Mexican, like they come in and like I can like translate for them. Mm -hmm. That's something that kind of like grounds me back to like knowing that I can help them. Yeah. Yeah. What's well, something I wouldn't believe about you? Wouldn't believe? Yeah. This one just came to mind. I'm kind of short, but I'm good at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. This one always gets people is that I've, I've broken each arm five times. Five times? Yeah. Doing what? Like falling off playgrounds, snowboarding, skateboarding. Okay, so your whole life? Yeah, just being reckless. <laughs> One time I had to go home in kindergarten because one of my friends bit my butt cheek so hard. What? <laughs> I actually believe that. 
Because I don't think you would make that up. Uh, what's something I wouldn't believe about you? Um, I'm fully fluent in Spanish. I can read it, write it, speak it, understand it. I learned Spanish as a language before I learned English. Um, and I'm pretty much as white boy as it gets, <laughs> generic white guy. Um, but most people don't believe it. And then when I throw it out there, I always get really like ghost looks or like big eyes, like, oh my goodness, he said that, you know. My grandmother who raised me, she was my mom, she wanted to buy a house here in, in San Diego and open up a bed and breakfast. And she felt that it was important for me to learn Spanish because there's a lot of Spanish speakers in San Diego. So I went to a school who was a magnet school. Everything was in Spanish. So I learned a lot about the the, the Incas, the Zapotecas, the, <laughs> the Mayans and, and all those groups more than I learned about American history. And I'm glad. it's it's a I wouldn't trade it for the world. I really appreciate the fact that I can speak both languages. It's something I really cherish a lot. Yeah. Next question. What is your biggest insecurity? The first one I think of is the way I talk. And uh, probably can't tell from this interview, I'm actually kind of proud of myself for uh, keeping a conversation going. And uh, so my biggest insecurity is like I mumble and I fumble on my words. And I have these big ideas in my head, but I can't articulate them into words and conversation and sentences and I know I'm so smart in my head but I can't I can't get it out and so maybe that's why I stay quiet a lot. I don't feel like intelligence roots from being able to like speak everything that you want like your ideas I mean you could be the smartest person and the quietest person. That's true. So, also, I your voice sounds nice to me. And if you have mumbled or stuttered or anything, I haven't noticed. No, yeah, I'm so. actually, I'm really happy with how I'm, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's the, the surrounding, the... Maybe it's just easier to talk to a stranger. That's true, yeah. Michael, what's your biggest insecurity? Oh, biggest insecurity. My voice, probably. It's kind of monotone and I can like mumble and not speak up all the time. So some, some days I'm like pretty okay at it, some days I'm really bad at it. And it's just kind of annoying with the days where I just can't get it to work right. Oh. Well, if it's any consolation, I thought your voice sounded nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. What's your biggest insecurity? I feel like I just don't like the way I look. That sounds cliche as a girl, but I just, I just don't. What is a song that reminds you of someone you love? I listen to a lot of music and I attach emotions to songs. Me too. And when I listen to them, I like, I like to think that I'm, I'm like time traveling in my mind to places and um, there's an artist called Lap Lapalux and there's a song called Without You and my mom passed away uh, about a month before my daughter was born and it killed me it just I, I was broken and this song is something i heard during that time and i i lit, i go to it just so that i can feel that pain again so i can feel something so i don't forget i i feel like as time goes by she's she's drifting away from me and so I, I really listen to that song to try to still feel, even though it's not necessarily a good feeling, it's something. I'm sorry that I'm emotional. <laughs> I at least start crying like the first question. Yeah. I don't even know why. What, what, what about yourself? Um, my dad's really sick. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> my dad's really sweet. When I went through like my AC teen phase, I was listening to like Led Zeppelin and like he would always like play it like in the living room. Yeah. He always listened to like Stairway to Heaven and I'm pretty sure it's like the only song he knows. Cause me and my dad are very similar. We don't talk a lot, but we do a lot um, kind of non-verbally. And I feel like a lot of the times, like he just plays music like in the living room to like comfort me. Probably cares a lot about you. Yeah. And he probably thinks a lot about you and how you're feeling. I can relate just with my own daughter, with our situation and you know, us, us moving and it's abruptly and there's a lot of changes going on and I really worry about how she's taking it. I have two songs, Blank Space and Style. Not because it's like, not because like they're relatable in the, like the lyrics, but my sister and I, we would do road trips from Canada to San Diego a few times. And there was like one road trip where the only song on her phone was Blank Space and then Serious XM radio wasn't working, but I kept on playing style. Blink so, space like, the Taylor like Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And then style is the other one. And so we just went back and forth for like That's a 24 so hour funny. drive with those two oh songs. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell me about your first love and why did you fall in love with them? Damn, we're gonna get emotional again. <laughs> well, I'm looking at her, like Aww. I said earlier. Uh, um. You can take your time, it's okay. Thank you. I've always been pretty independent slash introverted and I never had a desire to be with someone. Angel came around out of nowhere. We clicked and I told her I loved her in like the first month and I don't think I told her actually now that I'm remembering it. I, I drew on her back, that's my finger, the letter I and then a heart and then a... <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. <sighs> you doing okay? It's it's good to talk about this and yeah. It's good to let it out. Yeah. It's good to tell the world too, but also just to tell a stranger and and I know she's watching me right now and tell her too. <laughs> Do you want me to reverse that question on you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, 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 you're okay. Man. Okay. Ugly crying on camera. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. She's a good listener and, and <laughs> picked a good stranger. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, tell me a secret, Michael. A secret? Yeah. Jeez, I don't know if I have any secrets. Let me think. I actually do have a secret to share. I, I'm sorry, but deep down, nobody knows this. But I, I, I want to be able to sing karaoke like really well. <laughs> Me too. And, and, and I want, I want, like, I, I envision singing the song and then like everybody getting up and clapping. <laughs> but I sound so horrible on a microphone. And I see my blue car coming. Okay. So no. Say something kind about the other person based on your conversation. You seem like a very genuine, sincere person that wants to help people. And I hope that you're able to stay focused on that because. Everything else is accessory. It's all about our passions. Thank you. I noticed that you're really good at listening and you, you heard me and you understood me, so thank you. Thank you. You have a very big heart. You're definitely very full of love and and wow. you have like you have a lot of love and a lot of like kindness and warmth inside of you. But you also you also cried a little bit, so that's <laughs> why I picked up on that one because you're definitely, definitely full of love. Well, you know what, that really means a lot because besides maybe Angel, I don't think anyone's uh, said that to me. So that, that means a lot. Honestly, this really made my day. I was just, you're just such a cool person to talk to. Um, 
And I do like your voice, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That all means a lot. Yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll just say, say, you know, like even though I know I specified my part about my voice, but I felt like, you, like you, I really like your voice. Like I know the headphones probably make it sound like really good, but it was like this is nice and smooth, and I really enjoyed how much you opened up about like your family and your past. It was a fun conversation. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Going. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Good. It's nice to see you. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was. This is really cool. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Was it, oh, we talked so much. Was it Krista? Yes. Oh, wow, great. Hi. Alex. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Every time I watched one of your videos, I was like, if I'm in Balboa Park and I see her, I'm going to act like I don't know her. So I, so I'll do it. But no, I can't. I couldn't hold it in. I was like, I know you. I know who you are. I was like, please still take me. Wait, Angel, do you mind getting in this? I'm sure everyone's curious. Yes. Like, I the get over here. That was like the second day. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What? Come here. Hello. <laughs> this is my angel. <laughs> Hey everyone, Thraya here. I wanted to say thank you for watching this episode. I am still selling these sweaters on my website. If you're interested, I'll link it in my description. I love you guys and I'll see you next week.